This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, how there, ho there. It's Jeff Cutter Diamond. Welcome you to another sports catastrophe on this day. And on this day, November the 23rd, in the year 2022, Canada made its World Cup debut. Yes, this was a massive job. Well, I shouldn't really say World Cup debut because that was in 86. But it was their first World Cup in 36 years in 2022. And it was amazing how Canada qualified for it. Now, before the 2022 qualification, it was well known that Canada was going to co-host the World Cup with the U.S. and Mexico for 2026. Meaning that Canada had a spot at the World Cup no matter what. However, what people don't realize is that, you know, Canada still had a decent chance to qualify for the 2022 World Cup. All they had to do was get into the top three in CONCACAF and the fourth place team would go to a playoff, an interconference, an intercontinental playoff. So if Canada finished fourth, okay, then we face maybe a minnow and get in. But Canada proved themselves to be quite admirable, only losing a couple of games in the World Cup qualification table. Shocking everyone by qualifying for the World Cup top by goal differential. They even held Mexico to just one point as Canada beat and tied Mexico in qualification. Canada also had a win in a tie against the Americans. So this was huge. Canada would be drawn in Group F with Morocco, Belgium, and Croatia. Canada had little chance to qualify. When I first saw it, I was like, well, Canada, if they can win this game, they can beat Morocco. That would be something because Morocco is a little sour over the fact that they lost the World Cup bid for 2026. So Canada would face Belgium in this game on November 23rd. And everyone thought Belgium was going to beat the tar out of Canada because Belgium was highly regarded as a great team and all of that. So anyway, in front of 40,000 fans, Canada would take on Belgium. And it looked good for Canada in the 10th minute when Alfonso Davies stepped up to the spot for a penalty kick. All he had to do was just beat Thibaut Courtois one on one, and Canada would have the lead against Belgium. But he missed. And then late in the first half, Michi Bachuri scored, making it 1 0 Belgium. Canada tried all they could, but Canada could not score against Belgium. The good news for Canada was that they only gave up that one goal to Belgium. So Belgium only won 1 0. So Canada kind of did their job. And then Canada in the second game would take on Croatia days later. And they scored. 60 second, 67 seconds into the game, Alfonso Davies did score a goal and Canada celebrated. They had a 1-0 lead. And it looked like they could have beaten Croatia. Unfortunately though, Canada couldn't believe their luck. Losing 4-1 to one on goals by Andre Kamarik. Well, he scored twice. Marco Lifaja and Lovro Meyer. So the defending members up, Croatia, crushed Canada into fine powder. 4-1. to one. So Canada looked like they were going to get something. But then Canada would face Morocco. And it looked pretty good for Canada. However, Morocco shocked Canada by taking a 2 nothing lead. Canada did score a goal that was technically an own goal. So Canada went 3-0. and out. They couldn't win at the World Cup. So they would be 0-6 at the World Cup, which is one of the worst win-loss records in World Cup history. But at least Canada, unlike 86, did score a goal. They scored two goals. So Canada at least could score goals at the World Cup. That's what their main goal was, pun intended. Anyway. You know.
This was just big and all that. Canada tried their best, but fell, went three and out at the World Cup. The 2022 World Cup would have a great ending, which I will talk about next month. But for now, Canada tried their best at the 86 World do better than the 86 World Cup, which they kind of did. But to be fair, I mean, they could have at least tied one of the three teams. And it would have been a victory in a sense for Canada. But no, three losses. Not good at all. Anyhow, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.